Welcome to the Sonia Buchanan Show, where we inspire one life, one smile at a time. Great day, everyone. It is time for the Sonia Buchanan Show, where we inspire one life, one smile at a time. Listen, you all, we have a fun show for you today. We're going to call it Fun Time and Laughter. Listen, you know, one of the great things about our life right now is the freelance that we have on on social media and the internet where people are allowed to create great content that make you laugh. And um, and today I want to appreciate all of those who do that. You make you laugh with clean content. And when I say clean content, something that does not pervert your mind with sexual promiscuous things like that, but just make you just completely laugh at yourself and laugh at them. And we are in a time right now where we can create all kinds of content uh, with the correct measurements, of course. And I wanted to share with you with something because... Normally, I don't talk about the content that I I watch and listen to make me laugh, but this particular um, video, I want to share with you just to give you a little clip of what I'm talking about. I was I was uh, on break last week. As a matter of fact, I saw this video last week, and I may if I can find it. I don't know where I put it in my um, my, my social media, if I saved it or anything like that, but I was watching this guy and, uh, he was a gay guy and he was very flamboyant. You know how sometimes you have, um, a person who's very flamboyant and they have this, this dialogue in this voice. Well, he had the completely, uh, sway about the way he was speaking and he, he was given a story and he says that he was taking his grandmother to his mother's house and and they just riding down the road, you know, great speed limit. He says he noticed that the other cars were shooting birds at him, blowing at him, and he didn't understand. So he looks at his speed. He was going the right speed and he didn't understand. He Then he looks in his rear view mirror and noticed that police cars was right behind him. So he said, oh, no, I cannot go to jail. You know, he went through the spell about, oh, what are they going to do to me? You know, (laughs) so he pulls over and the police had the announcement and the microphone and tells him to pull up his hands and step out of the car and walk backwards. So he goes in and he talks about, he said, how am I going to have my hands up and open the door and walk backwards. You can't do that. And he said, furthermore, I cannot even walk forward straight. How am I supposed to do that? Now, the whole time that he's using cussing words. So I'm going to try to uh, find the video so you can watch it. So he he gets out of the car and the police steps up. And he says, "Who that, who is that you have in the car with you? He said, that's my grandmother. And so they went around the car and tapped on the window. And the grandmother head is down. And on the window, the grandmother had put a sign on that says, help. This explains why the other cars were shooting birds at him. So his grandmother was pretending that he was, that she was dead. <laughs> so the police is knocking on this window and he is screaming at his grandmother. My grandmother is not dead. My grandmother is not dead. And the grandmother never moves. She still has her head down. She's playing a joke on the jokester here. And and he is upset. He got the police after him. They think he, he has killed his grandmother. Grandmother is pretending to be dead. She never wrote a sign on the window and said, help. <laughs> and they knocking on the door. And so it took them about, uh, he said about 10 minutes to get her to open the door. And he was, he was so mad at her. And he told the police officers, arrest my grandmother. You need to arrest her. Oh my God, you guys. I was literally in tears. Now, content usually don't make me cry in tears till I'm holding my belly. But that particular video 
was that good laughter that you have when your belly is hurting and you can't stop laughing. Tears is flowing out of your eyes. You know, we don't have that kind of laughter often, but when you do, it just relieves so much everything in your world. It just gives you the best feeling. So today, I want to come to those who make great content to say thank you so much for entertaining us during this time that we're going through so much in our economy, in our world. Thank you so much for those who create content, who is not, you know, well known, but because of the freelance that we have with marketing and with video, with social media, you... I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you for all the people who who sing, just freelance and they're singing. Thank you so much. Thank you for those who who get on the videos and they share their business tips and share some of the things that they have, like a context uh, where they get some of their products from to create best packaging. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for sharing with those who are just starting up and starting their business. Thank you so much. Thank you for those who who are book writers and they share some of the content when they're reading their books. Thank you so much. Thank you for the doctors who gets on the videos and they do freelance and they talk about uh, some of the things that will cause you to release stress and what types of food to eat. Uh, how many miles you need to walk in order to release a, a certain amount of stress. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the free lance that we, free lance that we have in the marketplace where just ordinary people can just share their tips on how to live right now while we're going through all these different scenarios where people are not able to trust anyone. But thank you so much for those who are uh, singers and artists and, and um, uh, instrument players. There's this guy that's on uh, one of the social media and every Wednesday he comes on and he plays his drums and he plays different, he plays different songs with him playing the drums and it is so enjoyable. You would think you wouldn't just sit there and listen to him play the drums while music is playing, but it is so amazing. He is so interactive. You know, it takes an art for you to be an artist with your gifting. So I want to say thank you to him. I want to say thank you to those children who entertain other children, who parents allow uh, their uh, their comfortableness in sharing their children and some of the things that they uh, do that will make us laugh. Thank you for all the people who are delivery, uh, like FedEx deliveries and UPS deliveries and and um, and all those people who videotape some of the things. And thank you, thank you for that. Thank you for being a great employee to those companies. Thank you for just people who have the comfortableness to share their heart when they're hurting. You don't know how much that's encouraging and that that gives you to share when you are in pain so the people can reach out to you and and just pour water on you and build you up and give you the encouragement that you need. It is so vital right now that when people are going through depression and sad and crying and they don't know how to deal with the frustration, that they get on this video and they reach out to the people that are following them and let them know, listen, you guys, I'm hurting, blah, 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 because it gives the people the opportunity to build them back up and to encourage them. Because that's sometimes that's all you need. Uh, I've been reading the news lately and there's a lot of young people are committing suicide. It is so important that we use social media in order to just build each other up. And it's it's really great. Uh, I want to say thank you to those who do that, who express. I was on, I got off of work yesterday and, and I never go on to Clubhouse. But um, I went on Clubhouse yesterday and I stumbled across this, uh, they was having this live talking about mental wellness. 
And they had a lot of doctors on there and they was talking about the effectiveness about having mental health and they was speaking um, some of the things. And they was, these was experts. And I usually don't like to go on, on Clubhouse uh, unless it is such. You got really experts on there because I don't like a lot of arguments and fussing and people over talking each other. But this was a different platform. This was their to help build a people and the and the place was probably about 60 people uh was there live with them and they gave so many different uh exercises so many different information uh there was a couple of people that came up and spoke and there was a couple of people who were really was hurting and and that was to me I felt like that was the right place she stumbled across it and everyone just chimed in to uh encourage that woman you know, because we all have been there at one point of time and uh and and that's appreciative. Right now social media is a good place. I know a lot of people say social media is a bad place. Well, it's all about how you uh utilize it. You know, if you don't want to see negativity in your in your feed, then just delete everything. Um delete everything and put on follow everyone that you think that it will encourage you during the day but we are going through so much from the north south east to west across the waters but and then at the same time there are people who are not going through any of that and not even aware of some of the travailing things that's going on but let it not be mistaken that there is four seasons in this year and sometimes people can go through four seasons within a week <laughs> so let's just remember that because i have been through sometimes four seasons in a week but i still came out okay so it's always a time it's always a season it's always spring winter you know but one of the things that I can say that social media has um, really stepped up to the plate by encouraging us, they don't know, they will not know that I'm saying thank you to them. Only I'm putting it in the atmosphere to say thank you for the wonderful content. Thank you for sharing your business tips. Thank you for sharing um, the birthdays, celebrations. Thank you for sharing those who have graduated. Thank you for sharing your heart when you're in pain and, and you needing encouragement. Thank you so much to every one of you. We have 7.8 billion people in this world. And um, there comes a time when you need encouragement. There comes a time when you're needing support. And sometimes you feel more comfortable and just expressing your heart and it is so important that you do express your heart so that that's a healthy thing to do so that you can receive healthy um, support healthy encouragement healthy words healthy laughter some people may not you know feel comfortable by saying oh i'm gonna be there for you but they probably feel more comfortable in saying something that will make you laugh and bring you out of that place of darkness and sadness. But I just wanted to come here today and just say thank you to every one of us. Every one of us. Thank you for those who reach out to those who have death in their family and they're praying for them and they, they're making it recognizable. Because a lot of times I'm not even on my um, my social media account as much this year because I'm, I'm working on a couple of things, trying to get my novel, my first novel um, published. And so my attention is, uh, is so it's in other places and, uh, and that's only going to be a short period of time. And then I'm going to get back into the rhythm of things, but I wanted to just come here today on our Sonya Buchanan show to say, thank you so much to every one of you who are taking advantage of the freelance and providing content and providing your heart and providing your love and providing your encouragement and just to say thank you so much. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay? So listen, this is the end of our podcast today. And uh, I want to say, you guys, make sure that you go by SonyaBuchanan.com or ConfidentPromises.com and take a look at our journals. We have journals for 2022. 
And, uh, and I think you will love these journals. Um, but just take a look at them and make a purchase. Send me an email if you have any questions or if you have any uh, advice if you want certain things in the journal that we can probably create for you. But this is the end of our podcast for today. And I want you to have a great day and have a great rest of the week. And I could say have a great rest of the month, but this is our last week of January. So until next week, this is your girl, Sonya Buchanan, with the Sonya Buchanan Show, where we inspire one life, one smile at a time. Bye, you guys. Oh my God, I got to tell you, I was having a moment and I decided to stare at the net. And that's when I came across this website called Comforting Promises, which is a great website, by the way. And get this, on the website was a featured book called The Journey by Sonia Buchanan that was recently published. So I immediately downloaded the ebook on Kindle because it talked about, you know, having faith for your life purpose. And let me tell you, the book is super great. I was so motivated to get back into the game, pursuing my goals. And you got to get the book because it's worth the read. Thank you for joining our podcast today. The podcast was produced and edited by Sonia Buchanan. For more information about the host, you can go to SonyaBuchanan.com. For information about Comfort and Promises broadcast community, you can go to ComfortandPromises.com. Thank you for listening to our broadcast, The Sonia Buchanan Show, where we focus on one life, one smile at a time. Until next time, bye you guys.